Welcome to Crowded Lab. Today I will do Pixel 2 review and demo and we'll see what's new in 2024 for this link shortener. Because this tool was available on AppSumo about a year ago and now they're back as plus exclusive deal. So to get this link shortener you have to be subscribed to AppSumo plus exclusive plan with which you can get additional 10% discount on the deals. Some time ago, I got Absumo Pixel 2 deal for myself and I use it as a backup link shortener because day to day I use another one and I am pretty satisfied with that. I've got another deal for open my link and this is my go-to link shortener, though it is not available anymore. And there was pretty nice deal structure Basically, you get almost everything unlimited. However, I think Pixel 2 has a cleaner and nicer user interface and it provides base features for your link shortening needs. For example, if you're an affiliate marketer, this tool have you covered. And what I like about Pixel 2 deal structure that even with plan number one, you will get unlimited links. So you are not limited with the number of links and you are not limited with the number of clicks. So this is very important and I believe you don't need more than that. So with the second plan, for example, you're getting more team members, more custom domains, but again, 20 custom domains is more than enough. But if you need everything unlimited, you also have this option with the third plan. And before we go to actual Pixel 2 demo, I must say there is another link shortener, Switchy, which is also nice looking one with good user interface and it has more features. However, it will limit you for the number of clicks. This is still pretty generous amount of clicks for your, for example, affiliate links. However, anyway, you are limited here. Pixel Team launched their product on Product Hunt as well. They have got some initial following, but anyway, let's proceed with actual demo. As I mentioned before, I keep this tool as a backup link shortener. If for any reason I will see any issues with my go to, which is open my link. I think I will switch to Pixel 2 because it provides everything that I need except for one feature. And I will tell you about that later in the video. So let's see what we are getting and what was added as new feature during 2024. So here you see the main dashboard. You can create your links using Pixel 2 domain or you can connect your own domain like I did for this name ketchup website. As with any link shortener, you will add the destination, you will add your short alias, you can choose your QR code style, add some text, add pixel tracking, have some previews. Yep, basically you have everything you need to shorten your links. And as well, you have conditional routes. In the conditions, you can define some rules. For example, let's select operating system. And in case of this is iOS, we will be targeted to this URL. We can add more conditions and we can see that fallback destination, if none of the rules will trigger, you will go to this default destination and we can save our URL. Of course, you can import your URLs in bulk using CSV file. You can also organize your URLs into so-called smart folders, and you can set up rules by which those will be filtered. For example, you can add rule tags which contains, let's say, name ketchup, and then save. So we'll have, oh, let's remove the second rule, and save. And we will 
have convenient access for the folders. So this one called name ketchup. And here we can see all the links which were tagged as name ketchup. So this is important to be able to organize your URLs. You will have hundreds or thousands of your URLs and it's important to have convenient way to organize those in a link shortener. And I think compared to OpenMyLink, this is more well organized. In OpenMyLink, which I use currently, I can filter links by tags, but here I like the clean and nice look and feel of this user interface more. With each link, you have additional options. You can edit, duplicate, download QR code and see analytics for a particular link. And before we will go to other settings and other parts of this application, let me show one feature that Pixel 2 is missing, at least for me. And that feature actually is lack of ability to set up 404 redirect page, custom 404 page. Let's say the target URL is not existing anymore. Let's simulate that with wrong URL. And in case of Pixel 2, you will be redirected to their default 404 page. And let me show you the example how it is implemented with Open My Link. You can see this URL and let's say it is not correct. Let's go there and we will be redirected to 404 page on my custom domain. Not a big issue, however, it is a nice feature to have and I think honestly it is not a problem to implement that, but for some reason it is missing with Pixel 2. Okay, so let's continue exploring the tool. There is a dedicated session for creating QR codes. You can have those in different styles, whatever you need. One feature that was added, I think, during the last year is ability to create microsites. I didn't see that feature before, so let's start with some templates. Okay, let's choose this one. We are getting some studio or editor, so we can rearrange anything. It works fine, similar to Canva even. We can add more shapes, whatever we need. We can have some buttons, like so. We can upload our own media, emojis, embed Spotify, YouTube, Twitch URLs. We can add some GIFs. Okay. There are some interactive parts. So for microsite, it is a good amount of features that this editor provides. Okay, so let's save and actually view our microsite. Okay, here it is. We can preview our site on different platforms on desktop and mobile and let's actually publish that and I would like to publish that to my subdomain and let's save it. Okay, so now when we will go to this link we will get our microsite. I could put more effort developing that, but anyway, you got the idea. So that's actually a nice feature to have. All right, so besides microsites, you will have your analytics as I showed before. There is also Chrome extension from Pixel 2, so you can conveniently shorten the URLs like so, let's shorten that. And if we will go back to the main dashboard, here it is, the link that was added through the Chrome extension. What else we have? There is assets section where you can define your tags, configure pixels, configure your domains. It can be main domain or a subdomain. 
And a good thing that they provide SSL certificates. So your links are covered here and you can use HTTPS secured connection with your shortened links. Regarding options, I think another feature that was added for the last year is dark mode. And I think it looks better in dark mode. There are some integrations with additional tools like HubSpot, MailChimp, but I'm not sure what will happen with those integrations. I assume you can have additional flexibility with connecting a webhook. Maybe you can pass additional information after a particular link is clicked. Let's move to the next section, API. This one is pretty clear. You can ask ChatGPT or a developer to provide some code and automate creating links through application programming interface, so-called API that Pixel 2 provides. And as well, you can have additional team members who can have access to this tool. All right, so that was a quick overview of Pixel 2 in 2024. And as I mentioned, I have this tool as a backup for my current link shortener. And I honestly think this tool provides all features that I personally need to use that as affiliate link shortener. Well, there is one exception. Pixel 2 at the moment is not providing 404 page redirect to a custom domain. So yeah, that's the only feature that this tool is missing for me. And as well, as I mentioned, I like how user interface looks like. For me, it is an example of clean and nice design. To get Pixel 2, please check my affiliate link in the description. Please also give this video a like and subscribe for more similar videos. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.